Hello everyone, welcome to part two of the CFAST uh, model example. So first thing I want to do, we still have a disclaimer. So uh, at the top of this page, uh, the information presented here is for educational purposes only. It is believed to be accurate and reliable, but no warranties expressed or implied uh, as to the accuracy of the information. Uh, this information should not be, must not be solely used for life or property safety protection purposes. The user is obliged to obtain professional guidance for any decision affecting the safety of life or property. And this uh, disclaimer was referenced. Uh, it's not a direct copy of the disclaimer that's in the Ignition Handbook, but uh, uh, we give so much uh, focus to the students on that if they're going to use any sort of any words from someone else's writing, then they should reference them. So I, I give reference to the Ignition Handbook by Babrowskis. He has a good disclaimer in his, so this it's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. All right, so part two. We are going to put in disappearing vents. Uh, possibly we should have put the fires in first so that we could see the effect of the disappearing vent on the, on the simulation behavior, but uh, this is the way it's set up for now, so we're going to do it this way. Uh, so these uh, red, sort of red lines with a dotted, dotted dashed line across it are our disappearing vents. So DV stands for disappearing vent. So in our, uh, the idea is we have a fire in 4A uh, that, that burns and then this wall fails and the fire can spread in 3A and 3B. And then this wall fails and the fire can spread from 3B into not only 2B and 2BC, but also into 2A. And these two walls will fail and the fire can propagate into the last two rooms. Uh, purely uh, theoretical scenario, but that's the scenario we're, we're gonna try to model. So we, we want to, what we want to do is when we put in our vents, we're going to have an initial opening fraction of zero and a final opening fraction of one at the change fraction time. And so for our five different disappearing vents, first ones are going to change in 150 seconds. So we are going to put in the sill, soffit, and width uh, information here. The vent offset we're going to have to play with and then the, the correct face, we'll have to check and make sure these are the correct faces. Uh, I developed this, when I put this together, it was on an older version of CFAST, so the new one doesn't behave exactly the same. So we can go back to our model. I'm gonna go ahead and close, close that out so we don't get confused. We're gonna go to our wall vents. So here is our first one, except our fraction needs to be between 0 and 1, not 0 and 100. So we have, this is also, it should be 1, not 100. I'm not sure why it keeps kicking back to 100. That's strange. Oh, the other thing I wanted to do is save this as, so we're back on our desktop folder, we're going to save it as version 3. And since this one's giving me so much trouble, I'm going to go ahead and remove it. I'll remove this one, we'll just start over. I had started I'm making sure I knew how to do this before I recorded the video, for because then it's permanent. All right, so we're going to add uh, a vent for DV1. We're going to go from 4A to 3, 3A. We're going to set the sill at 0 0.1 and the soffit at 0, uh, 2.8. So you'll notice these are 0.1 meters smaller than the wall dimensions and that's specifically so the students or the viewer can see 
that vent show up. If it's the same size as the wall, then the black outline will cover up the red and you won't be able to see it. Uh, so 4.0696. Vent offset, it's going to be on the right face since that number seems to be changing whenever we change the face. So I'm going to save, click geometry and view. So here is my, here's my disappearing vent one. I'll add another. This is going to go from 4A to 3B. So 0 0.1 soffit is 2.8 and the width is 1.0 and if this says it should be on the right let's check on the right and I think our offset is going to be uh, 4.3 so that number came from we look here and we're trying to do DV1. If this, if it's offsetting from here, it should go up here. Now the, the directions here say the face is on the right, so we'll see if it shows up over here. And if not, we do see it here. So let's see if we can move that to the left. So there is our off, our, our DV2. So then a 3 is going to go from 2A to 2BC. And I might change a note on here that this should be left. that the offset should be 3.76 so let's see if that's right so we did we got our vent here and while I have uh, this I'll go ahead and stick it in the directions. So DV4. Oh, and I forgot. Okay, so this is DV1. So I need to set the time is at zero. It's going to be 0% open at 150. It's going to be 100% open. And if you don't want it to change, yeah, sort of instantaneously, you can do a ramp function. I'm not going to get into that here, uh, but that is an option. So 3 was, uh, DV3 was 300 seconds. So then DV4. 
goes from 2B, C, no, 2B, to 1B, C. if that gets us where we need to be. So, it looks like this should probably be on either the, oh, no, we're good. DB4 was here. I was thinking of DB5 is here. So, we've got, so DB4 is in the right place. So, we're changing, it's going to open at 600 seconds. And if you, want to, if you want more information on the ramp function, just read your user's manual. Um, and then DB5 is going to go from 1A to 1BC. Soffit is 2.8, width is 1.0186, it says it should be the rear with an offset of 3.76. Let's see if that gets us where we need to be. Make this 700. So there, there we have our last disappearing vent. Uh, so if we go ahead and click run, we can see the progress bar crossed. Doesn't take very long. We don't have any fires involved yet. But if we look here, if we load our zone. Uh, fire file and we scroll back to the very beginning we should get X's on we get X's on some of the ones that are supposed to be closed initially but these others are not showing the X for some reason so uh, some, there should be a big X here, uh, at least when I did this before, there was a big X there. But it's not being consistent, right? There should be an X there. There is one on this door and this door, but not on this one or those two. Not sure why. All right. Well, I was going to show you that, but there may be X's that show up at t equals zero when you run when you run the simulation. Oh, maybe I didn't change. Did this not save? Oh, this should be one fifty, not three hundred. this
Okay, so now we have the X's where they should theoretically be. All right, uh, so make sure you double check. That was a bit glitchy. Maybe you have to push enter because um, I was just putting in a number and then clicking out. And that, okay, so you do seem to have to put in a number and then hit enter rather than clicking out, which you don't have to do in these other cells. So be aware of that. I'm going to make a note on my directions that you have to press enter when entering those numbers. In the new, in the new version. Okay, so that's the end of part two. In part three, we are going to uh, put in the fires. So I hope you found this useful and have a good day.